ออกรางวัลที่ห้าครั้งที่เจ็ด The lottery has become a huge part of the Thai lifestyle and a major money maker for the government. Take a walk at any given street, and you'll see several of these vendors lined up along the sidewalk. In 2019 alone, the government lottery office generated nearly 42 billion baht worth of revenue. So, how did we come to this? In 1832, during the reign of King Rama III, there was a severe drought. Prices of goods rose dramatically, and the economy was stalled. A nobleman named Prasi Chayaban informed the king that people had resorted to burying their money in the ground in order to save it. He suggested starting a lottery, and the king agreed. Prasi Chayaban was of Chinese descent, so he imported the practice from China, where it originated. In Thai, the lottery is called Huai, which is derived from the Chinese term Huai Huai, which means the flower community. Because in China at the time, a flower would be drawn on each lottery ticket. When it was first introduced to Thailand, the lottery was called Huai Ga Ka, which used the Thai alphabet for the luck draw rather than the number system that is used today. In 1835, a Rong Huai or lottery house was set up and run by, you guessed it, Prasi Chayaban. In the reign of King Rama IV, more lottery houses popped up in other provinces, each owned by a member of the nobility. However, there was a problem. Thais were becoming so addicted that instead of working, many were just trying their luck at the lottery to make a living. So King Rama IV ordered for the closure of all lottery houses except for the ones in Bangkok. Different kind of lotteries were introduced later, but it all came to an end in 1916 when King Rama VI banned the lottery business entirely. However, in 1933, to generate government revenue, the lottery was reintroduced to Thailand by Kanat Rasadon, which ruled the kingdom at the time. It steadily grew in popularity, and fast forward to 1974, we have the creation of the government lottery office, which oversees the industry. And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining in. For more news, features, and videos, visit worldwideweb.disrupt.co. From Bangkok, I'm Tara Kamolt-Navith, and I'll see you next time. Bye.